Now this is a really basic ratio problem. I'm going to use it to kind of do a whirlwind tour of everything about ratios, a bunch of different ways you can look at ratios. I'm hoping that you'll take from this a flexibility of thinking about ratios if it frustrates you to have so many different methods then pick your favorite one and don't watch the rest of the video so either way hopefully you'll get something from this the first thing to pay attention to with ratios is um, the order they are telling us length to width and that means 3.3 to 2. 3.3 is boxed, it corresponds to the length. 2 corresponds to the width. Going straight to the end, which is a technique I recommend with a lot of math word problems, they're asking us for the length of the display. So. 3.3 to 2 and question mark to something. Uh, let's read the rest of the problem. The width of the display is 8 meters. So 8 is right there. Now how can we go about doing this? Um, Real quick, if you kind of know what's going on, then you know that to get from 2 to 8, I multiply times 4, which means to get to question mark, I would multiply 3.3 times 4. 3.3 uh, times 4 is going to be more than 12, but not much more than 12. And so 13 is going to be the answer. If I was actually taking the GMAT, that is exactly how I would do this problem. Because it's probably the quickest way is to realize that all I have to do is multiply 3.3 .3 times 4. Now, a couple of other ways to do this. When we're given a ratio, um, this means 3.3 .3 parts to two parts. In other words, let's say one part, uh, you know, if, if one part was, you know, 10 meters, then the actual dimensions of this rectangular advertising display would be 20 meters to 33 meters. So we would get 33 to 20 and you can reduce ratios just like you can reduce fractions. I would divide both of these by 10 to get 3.3 .3 to 2. Now how do we do this algebraically? We would say if x is one part, then the length is 3.3x. The width is 2x. We're told the width is 8 meters. So this tells us 2x equals 8, divide both sides by 2, x is 4, go ahead and plug that right on back in there, and we see specifically spelled out, you know, algebraically with equal signs and x's and all that kind of stuff that the answer that we want is 3.3 .3 times 4, and not so bad to go ahead and multiply that out. 
course, we got one decimal point, 13.2. One last way that I'll demonstrate with uh, ratios is um, I could treat this as a fraction. The length divided by the width would be equal to 3.3 over 2. And that is going to be equal to x over 8, where x is, is the, the length. So we could cross multiply that. 3.3 times 8 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2, which is useful before actually multiplying. Uh, and we'll get 3.3 .3 times 4 equals x. So you can treat ratios as fractions. The one thing that I'll warn against is, let's say they were saying something like uh, the ratio of, let's assume it was, uh, instead of length and width, it was the ratio of something that made sense to speak of fractions, like the ratio of red coins to blue coins was 3.3 .3 to 2. The fraction um, where the denominator is the total, so I, I'm getting lost in my explanation here. What do I mean? Um, the fraction of the total perimeter, let's say, that is length is 3.3 .3 over 3.3 .3 plus 2. This is important in an example where if I said something like, you know, boys to girls. The ratio was 6 to 4. And then they say what percent uh, is girls? And maybe they wouldn't use it because that would be the wrong conjugation of the verb. Anyway, what, what fraction, what percent are girls would be 4 over 10 because we'll have for example we can have 60 boys and 40 girls for a hundred people total and then the percentage would be uh, 40 percent hopefully you, you followed this last part if not you can ignore it forever the point is be careful when you're converting from a ratio to a percentage because you have to add the two numbers to get the denominator of the fraction that tells you the percentage. I hope I didn't spoil the video with this last tangent, but uh, hope you learned something.